Good morning everybody. Today we are going to discuss about task 3 spelling and grammar check of ta chapter 2 working with the text. So in this chapter we will be making use of Microsoft Word software. Now the requirements of this lesson. The first requirement is computer with Windows 10 operating system. The second requirement is Microsoft Word 2019. And the third requirement is headphones. Now we are moving on to the topics that we are going to cover in this lesson. First topic is spelling and grammar. Second topic is thesaurus. So now we will be moving to the first topic that is spelling and grammar. Sometimes, as you type in Microsoft Word, some words are automatically underlined with red, blue or green wavy lines. Red wavy lines represents, first one, the word you typed is incorrect or misspelled. Second one, the word you type doesn't exist in the program's dictionary. So whenever you are seeing a red wavy line like this, it means two things. First one is it is incorrect or misspelled or the second one is the word you type doesn't exist in the program's dictionary. Okay. Now the second one is blue wavy lines. It represents that the word is spelled correctly but not used in the correct context of the sentence. Okay. Now the third one is green wavy lines. It represents grammar mistakes. Okay. So, I will show you this in Microsoft Word document. I will write a sentence and I will show you how these are coming. So, this is my desktop. As you all know, this is my desktop. And if I am moving to the left bottom corner, I can see my start button. In my start button, I can see the word. So, I am pressing word. Now, my word document is opening. Here I have to select my blank document, this one blank document and now I have the blank Microsoft Word document. Okay, Now I am going to write a sentence that is he buys a spare of shoes. So we all know that it is a pair of shoes not a spare of shoes. So it means that whatever word I have written is incorrect or misspelled right so that is why I have this red wavy line underneath it can you see that okay so this is a red wavy line now we are considering the second case that is a blue line okay so I'm going to write a line he buys a pair of shoes so we all know that this peer is a correct word, there is no spelling mistake, but it is not correctly used in the context of this sentence, right? So a blue line is coming. Here instead of blue wavy line, a blue double line is coming. It is also okay in some computers, in some version of Microsoft Word, blue double line will be coming. It is also okay, okay? Now the third case, he buy a pair of shoes so here if I'm pressing enter you can see there is a double blue line under buy so when you are if you know the grammar here he buys a pair of shoes it does not he buy a pair of shoes right so there is a grammar mistake so in some computers like just like mine it won't show green line it will show blue double line it is also okay so these are the three cases now we have to study how to change these errors okay so first thing I have to do is I'm considering the first line I'm deleting the others now here I will show you how it is being done so these are the three types of errors that is coming in Microsoft Word while you are typing something and now we have to change it to check the mistakes and how to change it step one on the review tab in the spoofing group click doc check document so here you can see 
check document in review tab and the spoofing group if you are going to review tab and in that spoofing group you can see this menu and in this menu check document okay you have to click check document step 2 on the right side of the screen you can see a editor so this is the editor okay so here it has shown he buy a pair of shoes so suggestions are he buys a buys so we have to change this buy by using buys okay so i will show you how it is being done so here this is our sentence and here we are going to the review tab on the top and here spoofing group in the spoofing group check document i'm pressing check document so here i can see one spelling there is some spelling that is he buys a pair of shoes which is a red baby line which represents there is a spelling mistake so they have suggestions pair so pair is the correct suggestion right so i'm going to press this pair so see this word is changed into pair spare is changed into pair automatically when i click that suggestion now you have finished reviewing your editor's suggestion now i can press ok so it will be going yeah so this is how you automatically change your mistakes is that clear to you this is how even if you are writing anything that is if there is any mistake in that paragraph or any sentence that you are writing it will show if you are doing if you are going to review tab and if you are checking the document it will show in this right side and you can change it is that clear to each and every one of you so this is our first topic okay spelling and grammar check now we are moving on to the second one that is thesaurus so thesaurus the thesaurus is like a dictionary but gives you a list of synonyms when you look up a specific word yeah so to use thesaurus select a word first thing you have to do is select a word step 2 on the review tab in the spoofing group in the same group yeah in the review tab in the spoofing group click thesaurus so here we have the check document we used it for the first activity now we are using thesaurus okay now the thesaurus will appear on the right side of the screen thesaurus means that if you are if you are selecting a word suppose that the word is boy it will show all the synonyms i i guess you guys know what a synonym synonym means the similar words that is related to the similar word of boy that is lad school boy youngster child everything has the same meaning of boy so it will show a list of synonyms of the word boy okay on the right side you can see this so here step 4 all the synonyms will show up in this list select a synonym right click the word click insert so these are the list of synonyms and the next thing you have to do is you have to right click any of these words so if i want instead of boy if i want lad i will right click it and a menu will be coming in that menu i have to press insert okay so now you can see the synonym is inserted at the place of the word that you have selected okay so i will show you this in microsoft word document okay so here i am going to write a sentence okay or else we can use the same sentence itself okay we are using the same sentence now you can use close editor now he buys a pair of shoes so i want to find the thesaurus or the synonyms of this word pair so what i am going to do is step one is selecting this word okay and then we are going to the review tab we are pressing the review tab and then in spoofing group thesaurus i am pressing thesaurus so here i can see there are so many meanings that is the same meaning similar words similar words of pair that is synonyms so i want if i want to do a couple he buys a couple of shoes or there are so many words i'm going to select set he buys a set of shoes okay you can select any word you want okay now here i'm right clicking this so i i got a menu insert and copy so i'm going to press insert so when i'm pressing insert i want you guys to look at my sentence okay i'm going to press insert 
So, my sentence is changed. He buys a set of shoes. It does not appear. It is automatically changed into set. So, this is how you do the thesaurus. So, if I want to change some word, I can select any word from this pair and I can change it automatically. So, I hope this topic is clear to you. So, this is done. How to use the thesaurus, okay? This one is done. Now, we will be having an assignment. I want you guys to do the assignment and I want you guys to take a photo of the assignment, upload it to me or if you want to upload the whole Microsoft Word document, you can uplo upload that one also. And you have to use a computer for this. Don't use the phone. You have to use the computer with Microsoft Word. Okay. See you next week. Bye.